Hey guys, what's happening? So, started developing a misfire in my uh, early Bronco here. It's a 1966 Bronco. And um, kind of an intermittent misfire, sometimes hard to start. And usually when you have those sort of issues, it's, you know, the first thing you'd normally check are the basics, like spark plugs and stuff. And kind of a bummer. But I, um, <laughs> when I was taking out to check my spark plugs, I uh, broke a couple of the insulators on a couple of them. So, kind of a bummer. But, uh, yeah, these are actually, what were these? These were the platinum fine tip ones. And I don't know if you can see that in the light here, but on these spark plugs, the ground strap is kind of getting concave. Like, it's, it's on the top of this. It's kind of like eating it away in the metal. Let me show you the engine real fast, what I'm running. So this is a 351 Windsor roller cam, Edelbrock heads. And I'm actually running an MSD box. So that kind of uh, enhances the spark, if you're not familiar with that. And I have a TF, well, I have a Holly fuel injection with a TFI, MSD TFI distributor and coil. But, uh, and like I said, usually if you're trying to diagnose intermittent, it seems like a spark issue because my all my sensors check out fine on my fuel injection. So just kind of intermittent, doesn't happen every single time. And um, so yeah, like I said, the first thing you normally check would be the basics. And then what I'll do is I'll start, if that doesn't fix a problem with these new spark plugs, and I'll um, start removing components out of the equation, like the MSD box. I can just disconnect that from the harness up there, and test it that way, uh, just so it's actually running the distributor and the coil bypass in the box here. But let me take a look at these new spark plugs. They're called the TT plugs, and I'll take a look at them. All right, so these are actually made by Denso. They're the Iridium TT. And these actually didn't exist the last time, I, I think, uh, when I replaced these. I probably had these in there for probably three or four years. Like I said, they, I, I, my goal wasn't to, to replace them. It was just to clean them and take a look at them and gap them. But, uh, yeah, obviously. But, okay, so. Let's take a look at these. They were actually not really cheap. They were $8.99 a piece over AutoZone. The link where you can get them down below. Um, these are actually 14 millimeter by three quarter. Um, these are actually, I mean, I have aftermarket Edelbrock heads, and that's like the spark plug they use. And the heat range is basically like a stock heat range because I'm not doing nitrous or boost or anything like that on the engine. So take a look at these real fast. So what makes these things so unique is that you have a, I don't know if you can even see that, but there's a iridium tip on the top and a iridium tip on the bottom. So hopefully that's going to alleviate the issue with this spark plug. You know, actually like disintegrating the metal, making it concave. You know, on that one right there. So hopefully that's going to alleviate that problem. Because I am sending a super hot spark with that MSD box. Capacitive discharge box. Um, one of the issues I'm also kind of worried about with this one is that because I'm sending so much hot of a spark to this thing, it might create a hot spot and pre-ignition or detonation. So... Yeah, because the hot the spark the spark is so much hotter, and iridium is such a, a much more dense metal and doesn't dissipate heat as much as well. That it could create like a like a hot spot detonation. So uh, get these in, we'll fire it up and see how it rolls. But yeah, that's cool. That, and that's a that's a really good idea because instead of actually eating away at the metal, it's hitting another piece of iridium. All right. So before I put those spark plugs in, I, I cleaned out the threads with brake clean, um, just because you don't want to get the I mean, carbon will actually come up from the spark plug, and, uh, you know, aluminum heads are super susceptible to, you know, uh, cross-threading and uh, stripping. So, make sure you clean out those holes, and I'm going to use a little thread, uh, what's it called, uh, anti-seize on the uh, spark plugs there. And I'm going to use a little dielectric grease. Uh, these are actually those live wires. Alright, let's get this shot. I don't expect to see a performance increase at all. Pump coming on. Well, oh, I just washed my engine off, so. Oh, it definitely feels rougher. Ah, I should have my wires. Alright, so I did a couple laps and things are running good again. So. I guess we'll see, you know, fan just kicked on. But, yeah, I guess just check the basics, man. <laughs> I don't know. 
So yeah, misfire is gone, but it said it was kind of intermittent. Uh, yeah, the first when I first fired it up, I forgot that I'd spread all that um, brake cleaner in there to clean the threads off. So, all right, seems like we're back in action. Awesome.